hey, I've got a really important request. If you've got a testimony that you can boil down to maybe two or three paragraphs, shorter the better, on how you've watched your pastor stumble over what you believe are Bible changes from the pulpit. You're in church, and he's reading, Judge not, lest you be judged in the King James Bible. And he says, Judge not, lest you be judged, but it doesn't say that in his Bible. And you're sitting there going, isn't anybody going to say anything? All right, so if you have a story like that, here's an example of one. I just got today. This uh, person says, my pastor quoted two different quantum affected scriptures. He spoke from Judges 16, 19 and stated, someone came in and cut Samson's hair. He remarked how this is a story taught to children in Sunday schools. Other congregation members like myself remember Delilah did the deed. He glossed over it and then went on to quote 2 Corinthians 12, 10, for when I am weak, then I am strong. I was disturbed and flabbergasted that this 71-year-old pastor serving our community as a pastor for over 30 years didn't catch two glaringly obvious changes in the scripture. I'm holding on still attending this small little church because I feel I may have the opportunity to open his eyes and to have him gently inform the rest of the congregation. Most of the members are over 70 years old and are very resistant to change, but I think it's important to share the truth with all God's people. I do as well, and this experience is just one of many of the testimonies that I'm looking for. Also, if you've been divorced because you believe the Bible's changing, if your lifelong friends have left you, if your children are not talking to you, please put that in a testimony in the chat below, in the you know posts below, because that's why this needs to be addressed. This is the fallout. This is the persecution. This is the heartbreak of the people of God who are correct. We are not the seed. We are not charlatans. We are with God. God is with facts. God loves facts. God loves common sense and reason. And God loves statistical probabilities and consensus and rational thinking, not what the unconvinced are hurling at us, typically from a distance and then running away when we try to speak to them about this. This is an outrage, not the event, but the church's response. And so these testimonies will give me a very important piece. And so please take the time to write your little story about your pastor experience, or maybe you went to him with your list, trying to show him that this was happening, and he told you you needed medication or you had a demon, and the meeting was cut short. There was a lot of eye rolling and a lot of cynical cynicism hurled at you by someone that's supposed to be your spiritual guide and shepherd. You were told that you are straying from the faith and you need to read the Bible more and just focus on your relationship with Jesus. Those are the types of things that I'd like for you to put in writing for me in a concise manner and then post it below. And I will take all of those and compile them and post them on the website and use them in all of my interactions. Thank you so much. God bless.